Hey boys and girls, this is Mrs. Bailey. So we're gonna do an experiment today uh, using force and motion. So we're gonna create a homemade pendulum and we're gonna hang it from my garage door and see what happens. We're gonna see what kind of um, art I can create by pushing uh, my cup in a certain direction. It's gonna have a hole in the bottom of it and it's gonna be full of milk and the milk is colored and so we're gonna create art on the carport and see what happens when I push with a certain force, what does it do to the art or the stream of milk that's coming out? Because gravity is pulling the milk down, okay? So that's the motion that's happening because I let go of the hole. So it has nowhere to go but down. So let's see what happens. So we've already talked about we're about to do an art project using force and motion by building our own pendulum. So with force and motion, we can have all different kinds. We can have up and down movement. We can have bouncing and gravity. We can have things that are repelled, things that are slow, things that are fast. All those things affect our force and motion. So there's types of motion we can generate with our pendulum. We can do a back and forth and up and down and around and round. So there's a lot of different things we can do when we're pushing our pendulum to create different lines that we want to make on the ground. So look at, let's look at some images that help explain what forces and motion are. We can see that there's a lot of different types of forces and a lot of different patterns that we can create in motion. Force can be any type of a push or a pull that we might generate. There are different types of forces. There's contact forces and non-contact forces. Things can affect the motion of an object by how strong we might push with the force. So when you're using your pendulum, if you push it really hard, you're gonna have a bigger circle or a bigger arc. If you push it really lightly, it's gonna make a smaller circle or a smaller arc. See if you can make your pendulum move in a zigzag and in a circle, up and down. Try experimenting with how you move it around. We're going to do a pendulum painting and you need a paper towel, some tape, yarn, a hammer, some milk, some food coloring, scissors, a nail, a screw, and some cups. And somewhere you can be a little bit messy and I'm going to do mine over my garage door so I can use my hose pipe to rinse the mess that I make. Okay, so let's get set up. Okay, so we're gonna start by testing a few holes in the bottom of our cup. I'll try and do this without tearing my cup up. Now that one's not working. Let's try the smaller one. There we go. And you can take it and kind of roll it around to make your hole bigger. Like that. So now you have a good hole in your cup. Now this one, I got a hole started and then just stuck my scissors in to make it bigger. Bigger hole in this particular cup and a really small tiny hole to test which one I like better. So now I've got to get them strung up and um, get some holes in the side and some tape and tape my yarn to it. So now you're going to take some yarn or string and tie it on each side of your cup so you have string hanging from either side for balance, and then take tape and wrap the tape around to hold the string in place. 
Now make sure kids, you get an adult to help you do this. Don't stand on a ladder without help because you can fall down. You want to get it taped up real strong. Now in this next part, you're going to put a little bit of food coloring into your milk. Whatever color you like, I chose green. I'm using a stick to mix it up. Nothing real fancy just to get all that dye mixed up. Make sure you have help with this so you don't make a mess. Now I'm gonna take my milk over to my uh, hanging pendulum in my garage and I'm going to hold the cup steady and put a finger over the hole on the bottom so the milk doesn't pour out. So here goes nothing. Let's try that again. We'll rinse and do it again. So now my carport smells like milk, but it was a fun experiment. I hope you have a good time doing this and make sure you have help because you definitely are gonna need a parent to give you a hand. Because remember, you've got to be able to flip things around and tape things and use a nail and a hammer and, and you've gotta be able to rinse and wash everything off. So make sure you have a parent to help you. Have fun.